Ooh. Now that fakie back big spin was pretty cool. But you know what else is pretty cool? Protecting your legs from surface abrasion while riding your motorcycle. Today, we're talking about riding pants. Protection for your legs on a motorcycle is an area that we feel riders often overlook. We find that a lot of riders are riding around in what we call the squid zone, where they're just wearing denim or cotton jeans and just hoping that they'll be fine if they go down. Spoiler alert, you're not gonna be fine. There are four different levels to riding jeans or pants. The first level is what we call the squid zone, as I mentioned. That's gonna be the denim or cotton pants that you're wearing right now that are not gonna provide any level of protection whatsoever, and we're gonna get into why that is later in the video. The second level from there are riding jeans that are infused with different materials like Kevlar, Dyneema, Cordura, all kinds of great stuff. Maybe they provide some impact protection. These are kind of the step up from the normal, regular denim jeans. We then have textile pants, which are similar to textile jackets. They're a little bit more breathable, made of a nylon material, a little bit more resistant, and can be a good use case for you, depending on the type of ride you're doing. And lastly, we have leather pants, which are the gold standard protection for motorcycle abrasion on the street. Now, there are pros and cons to each of these pants and they may not fit your use case. So let's get started looking at the first zone, the squid zone. So level one of protection, or rather level zero in our opinion, are cotton or denim jeans. These jeans are not going to protect you if you go down on a slide. The reason for that is they're not designed to do that. These are designed to be comfortable and wearable while you're around town. They stretch, they're breathable, and they're really nice to wear when you're just doing normal people stuff. But if you're riding a motorcycle and you go down, these are gonna tear apart in an instant. These are gonna provide no slide protection, the stitching isn't reinforced, and you're probably gonna have a bunch of skin grafts that you're gonna need to get, and it's gonna be pretty nasty. If you're riding around off-road, 14 or 15 ounce denim is usually fine. It's not the most breathable or stretchy or comfortable material to wear, but if you're poodling around in the dirt, you'll probably be okay. But I still would recommend a proper set of riding pants. Let's look into those next. Level two for riding pants are really what we consider the Goldilocks zone for most street riders. If you're actually riding on the street and you don't wanna look like a crazy astronaut when you get off your motorcycle, a proper pair of riding jeans is gonna be the best bet for you. There's two important things you gotta think about. The first thing is either if you're gonna get a single layer or a dual layer pant. And the second thing is whether that pant offers impact protection. Let's talk about single layer and dual layers. Single layer pants typically offer an interwoven fabric with stuff like Kevlar, Cordura, or Dyneema that are typically stronger than steel and are interwoven in the fabric of the jean in one single layer. Now, a lot of independent studies have shown that dual layer pants are much more effective at preventing slide resistance and motorcycle jeans, but the single layer pants are definitely a lot easier to get along with and live with. I myself actually used to have a pair of dual layer pants and I didn't really like the amount of kind of stuffiness and feel inside of the pants and I switched to a single layer pants. So do your research and check out which single layer or dual layer pants gonna be the best for you, which by the way, this 4SR jean over here that we're gonna cover, we sell on shop.yemenu.co. Every dollar you spend is an entry to win our Ducati Street Fighter V4S, so don't miss that. Now, the second thing we're talking about is impact protection. Impact protection is extremely important, but not as important as slide protection, in my opinion. Many times I'll actually go out and ride in a slide resistant jean, but not an impact resistant jean, just because I don't want the extra bulk if I'm just casually riding around town. However, the ideal riding pant would have CE level armor on the knees and the hips, along with some sort of interwoven Dyneema, Cordura, or Kevlar fabric in the slide impact areas, and also it would be dual layer. In my opinion, look for a single layer pant that has Kevlar interwoven and has impact protection as well. One important thing about impact protection is it has to fit snugly onto your body. If your pads are loose on your jeans, they're not gonna provide adequate protection. So make sure you check that out as well. So again, we think these interwoven fabric riding jeans are the perfect choice for the street rider and they're appropriately priced as well. Now let's move on to textile pants. Moving on to level three are textile pants. Now, textile pants are a little bit rare. You don't see them that often unless you're looking at adventure dads going long distance. They typically enjoy the more textile material or nylon material pants. But these can be a really great option for those of you out there living in warmer climates. You want all the top end features. You want a bunch of air vents, pockets, all the good stuff. A textile pair of pants might be the right choice for you. Now, this is not gonna be the right choice for those of you who are looking for something a little bit more stylish. Unfortunately, a textile pant is just a little 
bit nerdy if we can just be honest here. It's very nylon material, lots of pockets, lots of stretch and different features on it. So if you're looking for something stylish, I would not recommend a textile pants. But these can be really great for long distances. They're very comfortable to wear. They have tons of features. This one here we actually sell in the store as well. It's the BK2 textile pants. It actually has a removable liner for cold weather, lots of pockets, lots of uh, ability to adjust. You've got the waist adjusters, you got the ankle adjusters here too. It's a really solid pant for those of you who are not that concerned with style. You want more functionality, you want more performance out of your pants, and the price is going to reflect that a little bit. These are going to be a little bit more than your traditional riding jeans as well. But we think that, you know, if you're going long distance, you want some airflow, you want some good features, the textile pant is a great option. Now, let's move on to level four, the creme de la creme leather pants. All right, folks, we now move on to level four, the vaunted apex predator of riding pants. It's the leather pants. Now, in our opinion, leather pants are a little bit overkill for most street riding, but some of you might be interested in a leather pair of pants. I'm thinking those Canyon Carver type of bros, guys who are out there who are most likely to low side. You definitely want to get yourself a pair of leather pants, and let me tell you why these are pretty cool. Leather pants are going to provide a lot more slide protection than traditional riding jeans or even textile jeans as well. This is cowhide, 1.1 millimeters on this 4SR naked riding pant here, and you just don't get much better than that, folks. Actual leather is going to protect you so much better for slide resistance, but there are definitely a lot of drawbacks. When you're going to a pant like this, it has so much performance, so much ability to protect. You're sacrificing comfort, you're sacrificing weight, you're sacrificing the ability to, again, go to the coffee shop. You're going to look a little ridiculous if you go into your coffee shop wearing black leather pants, unless it's like a gimp club or something like that. Now, these pants over here also have the ability to zip into the back of a top suit, so you got to look into that as well. If you're looking at leather pants, you should probably be looking at two-piece race suits. That way, you could maybe take them out to the track here and there. But again, some organizations are not going to allow you to run a two-piece race suit and are going to have you wear the one piece as well. But again, for those of you who are kind of the canyon carving types, the aggressive sport bike riders, and you are at risk of low siding your motorcycle and having to employ some very, very, very sturdy slide resistance, the leather pants are going to be a great option here. These specifically in Texas weather, this would not work for me, guys. There is no perforation on this pant. It is a black leather. Uh, it looks really cool, but it would not work in warmer climates. So if you live somewhere in the south like we do here in Austin, Texas, Georgia, Florida, even North Carolina, more humid, warm places, the last thing you want to do is a non-perf leather pant. But if you live somewhere like Washington or California where it's maybe a little bit more temperate, maybe this makes sense for you. But again, these are very performance oriented, very specific use case, and we don't really think they make sense for the traditional street rider. But if you're looking for the best of the best in terms of protection for your legs, a leather pair of pants, can't go wrong. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit something about protecting your legs on your motorcycle. If you're riding around in just regular denim, I do highly encourage that you pick up a pair of protective motorcycle pants. If you're a brand new beginner rider, focus on the fundamentals like a helmet, gloves, and great boots, but then you should really try to get yourself a pair of riding pants. I personally always wear a pair of slide resistant impact jeans when I'm out riding the giveaway bikes or doing regular stuff on the Turbo Hayabusa or the Desert Sled. Now, remember, you've got the four levels. You've got your squid zone, your riding enforced jeans, your textile pants, and your leather pants. It's all going to depend on your use case. Let me know in the comments down below if you currently use riding pants or what ones you would pick out of the lineup here in terms of the levels. Also, remember, every dollar you spend on our store, we sell many of these pants over here as an entry to win the Ducati Street Fighter V4. S. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know. Maybe leave me a comment down below about how much you hated it as well, too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.